Hi all, welcome to day three of our video. I'm starting in this kind of weird camera view because I wanted to show you how to do the card slots. And the way that I like to do them is by using pins. So you'll wanna grab some pins if this way will work for you. Um, the pattern on page seven, I think it is, lays out where to put your pinch lines and your top of pocket lines. So definitely follow that. The first thing you wanna do is bend down this six inches and make sure it's right at six inches okay and then this is one inch down and then after that I, I kind of forget where they are exactly but you want to take your bottom one move it up to the next pin and see how easy it is you can just kind of gather them up I started the bottom you can also start at the top if you want then take your next top one and put it at the bottom one there and then your next top one here, make sure not to grab your backing, leave that one there and put it at the very top one, okay? So all of these should be half an inch apart and then your bottom one will match right up with the bottom of that six inches. So I like to clip that and then kind of finagle this around so that it's even looking, okay? And then you can grab your clips and clip it all down and take out your pins at that point. Okay, so that's your card slot holder. And now once we have that created, we'll go to the machine and sew it all down. Okay, so here at the machine, we have our card slots. You'll wanna make sure these are really nice and even because these will be really noticeable if they aren't and it'll look much more professional if your card slots are nice and even it's a good idea to actually get a card and stick it in here too just to make sure that your cards fit in there nicely and just stick above the card slot so the first thing that we want to do want to do is top stitch all of these so I usually start with the top one and just go eighth of an inch top stitching Again, making sure that they're all really even because it will matter later. And do each pocket. So I folded this one down and I'll do this next one. Okay, and then fold that one down and do the next one. Oops. to go and last one okay so now when you pull them all back up you can see how nice they look. All right, now we're going to just baste the edges so that everything stays in place when we're doing the next step. Eighth of an inch. I always like to do from the bottom up so that you don't get caught this way. If you have a domestic, that, that it'll still work on there. It is thick, so you should go slow, but it'll still work. Okay, there's the card slots. All right, the next step is to grab your card slot accent pieces. Sorry, your back, your back of card slots. We'll go next. Okay, and remember that hack that we did the first time around with the pocket? We can do that again this time. Okay, so we're gonna do five eighths of an inch up. Put this on. I'm on my mat here, let me move it a little bit. Okay, five eighths of an inch up on your back of card slot pieces. So you'll measure up five eighths of an inch. 
match this up with that line and then sew a quarter of an inch down just like we did that first time this will really help reduce that bulk Fold this up again just like we did the first time. And then you can kind of finger press it here, make sure it's good and flat, and then we'll top stitch this here. Okay. Really quick little tip that will save you some frustration down the road here. Okay, so now we have this on. Nice and flat here. You can baste this if you want to. I usually just put these on and go for it. So you want to put your sides on now. Quarter of an inch seam allowance now. Again, go slow if it's giving your machine trouble. When you open it up, it should look like this. Okay. Next thing, we'll top stitch along both sides. So top stitch on each side of the card slots. Make sure that you have your seam pointing out right here. So we'll top stitch that seam down. you have this rectangle piece here. All right, the next step, you'll take your back pocket liner template and cut it to that shape. So I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, so next thing, I've cut this to the template size. Okay, I even trim the bottom a little bit, just according to the template, you can cut. And we're gonna set this piece aside. If you didn't make this piece, if you opted to make the pocket instead, that's totally fine. You can do the pocket here instead of the card slots, but I wanted to show you how to do the card slots just because they seem a little bit more challenging. The next part is to take your main body piece and we'll lay that down. Just so you can see a little bit better. Okay, lay that down. And then this will be fitting right inside, okay? So what we're going to do is match up the middles and pin in the middle. Oh, the clip, whichever. And then I like to do the sides first. Match up the side. Okay, and then match up this side and see how it conforms to the shape of the bag. Okay, so it's going to look like this from the back and kind of what you expect from the front, right? So go ahead and finish clipping in 
the rest of the edges and it should fit perfectly in here. Stretch this around. And when we do this one, we're going to go ahead and do the full quarter of an inch seam allowance. We aren't going to baste this time. We're going to go ahead and do the full seam allowance all the way around. Okay, and usually I like to tuck this part under and do your seam from this side, okay, all the way around. You definitely want to watch your seam allowance on this because we'll be using this as a guideline for the next part. So watch your seam allowance here. Make sure you get a quarter inch. So you want to keep kind of pushing your inside under. So you don't accidentally catch it. Make sure you keep tucking. Keep it that quarter inch seam allowance. Go slow here. This zipper might give you fits, but it's okay. It's a little bit stiff around there. that straight away that's what you can look forward to when you get to the straight away it'll be a lot smoother you can watch your zipper here and I like to move it out of the way I don't want to mess up my seam allowance because my zippers in the way so I like to move it So we have, this is your back and your front. Look at that, all installed. Now don't top stitch quite yet. We have one more step before we top stitch and that will be to take your card slots or your pocket, whichever one you did, and that will fit right in here. Okay, so match it up the same way that we did before. Match up your middles and pin and then your edges. Okay. And then we'll be easing in everything else. to pin this part pretty well and I'll show you why here in just a second when I get it pinned especially around these corners because we're going to be using that quarter inch seam allowance that we just did as a guide for this one okay so I, I kind of over pin this part so your quarter inch seam allowance that you used here that's what we're going to use to sew this part so Put it down on your machine this way, 
so that you have this, that seam up that you just did and you want to follow that seam allowance that you just did the quarter inch. And if you can't follow it exactly, then go just to the left of it. You don't want to go to the right or you'll be able to see that line on this part. Okay, so try and go right on top of it or just to the left. Go ahead and move that zipper pull out of the way. I actually like to move the whole pocket out of the way for this part. You can bend your whole pocket back like this and then it doesn't quite fight you as much on this part. So you can put that whole pocket out of the way actually. And then pay real close attention to your seam allowance. Go slow on this part. I seem to say that a lot, but you'll be happier with your results if you've gone slow and done a good job rather than rushed through it and just, you know, slapped it together. And you kind of squash that zipper out of the way. It can sometimes get in your way a little bit. You don't want to sew the zipper into it. mind that curve is the hardest part you'll get it keep those lined up and then we'll soon be at that straight away we made it now again that zipper pulls in the way so let's get it out of there we're almost done with this Tugging at the zipper pull thing. Okay, and at this point you want to open it up, check out your handiwork, see how you like it. Okay. If there's any place that you have a little bump, then take your time now to clear that up because the next step is top stitching it and top stitching a bump will make it even more obvious. So this is the back side. Okay. Now we'll just top stitch. Press your seams out and we'll top stitch along here. All the way around and you can kind of tug at it make sure it's nice and tight and again on top stitching it's really important to keep a good steady 1 8 inch away because it's very noticeable which is a good thing because it makes your bag look more professional so Keep right at your eighth of an inch seam allowance here. You can increase your stitch length if you want, and a lot of people do. I just know that I would forget to change it back, so. Better safe than sorry, I guess. On vinyl, you would want to make it bigger though. Almost there. Alright, 
So that is all of your steps for today. So go ahead and post your picture of your completed piece like this, and you can post a picture of the back too if you like. You will want to make sure the back is on so that you're ready to go for tomorrow. Make sure that you have a full pocket there and you're happy with that. All right, I will see you all tomorrow when we're gonna make the, put the bag together. All right, bye everybody.